Hello watch fans. Berthier watches here. This time for you we have a circa 1985 Arado men's quartz watch. But it could be worn by a lady as well because quartz watches of this time are quite thin. They are not huge and these days let's be very gender fluid. So what do we have? Well this is a Japanese Rado. What I'm going to do is zoom in. You see at the bottom of the dial it says Rado watch where you might expect Swiss made. Now we've contacted Rado and these were made under license in Japan. So it's a Rado by any other name, it's just not made in Switzerland. The quality of Rado is there. These polished and textured links on the bracelet, it's superbly put together. I've there's no flex there, that hands free completely. Lovely, lovely quality. It's an ETA quartz movement, signed clasp, decent length as well. Wears like air because it is very light. You've got this blue stone, very vivid blue, set in the crown, very 1980s. And that leads us on to the dial. Now. This textured dial is reminiscent of a Grand Seiko snowflake in gold. So much so that we've got a Grand Seiko. Now, the Grand Seiko is lighter, but you've got this same captivating finish. So it changes light in every direction. Very desirable. However, the Rado is a lot cheaper than the Seiko. More of this later this week. So good make. Interesting watch. Not one that you're going to see every day. In fact, I doubt you'll ever see another one again. But it's available now at berthierwatches.com. If you would like to snap it up. Thanks for watching.